activity three. Now, in the introduction, I talked about using the lessons as standalone lessons or that you could bring them together as a unit of work. And this next activity is what I mean by bringing it together. So you can use your uh, contour lines and you can use your shape observational drawing in this next work, but I'll get to that in a minute. So we're going to start by referencing Hunter Vass's work first, and we're going to make a city landscape. So we're just gonna look at this picture and talk through it, and you can show the students many pictures. But in this picture, he has, this is what I can see, a base, a, land, a, green, a green field. Then he's got his buildings coming across and another set here. You can see this face, which I'm assuming is the sun, and he's used the contour lines again to describe the shape. Um, the, uh, the famous onion shape type rooftop, and the buildings, when you sort of squint your eyes, you get a positive negative shape. It also looks like the buildings are upside down and he has them layered. And then at the top, there's a little bit of blue, which sort of looks like the sky to me. And there's also a shape within a shape, and it's busy, but it flows well. And then, of course, there's the bright colours. Just looking at one more. And this one has his famous lollipop trees. Again, contoured. We've got, I spoke about this before with the contrasting colours, squares, lines, circles, window shapes layering, there's a lot going on. They're very, very busy, but they flow well. So the students now have to create their own world. And you can use the previous lessons and they can use those skills, which should make their work stronger. So they can look at the shapes that they've already drawn, which is what I'm going to do, and create some of my house shapes out of this drawing. And my contour lesson, I. All, that should give the students a real understanding of how to contour around the shapes that they draw. So we're going to work in black pen, the same equipment, black pen, white cartridge paper, A3, oils or watercolours, but I'm going to do both. So I'm going to start to draw using my references, which is the Hunter Vasa picture and my own. Okay, I'm going to start with the trees in the middle. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I have put contour lines in, but I was actually mindful, because I know I'm going to be painting them, to have maybe a thick band, and because colouring each line is going to slow me right down. So I've got a thick band, and I tried not to make my lines too thin, because it's easier to paint or colour in thicker lines. I'm happy with my drawing. I've got buildings, I've got trees, I've got a bridge with trees. That's the sun with a face, and I've got my contour lines. I've got different interesting shapes. I haven't got the traditional square and triangle. I've tried to use some shapes straight from my own reference drawing. So now I'm going to bring in colour. I'm not going to give myself any colour rules. I'm going to use whatever I want. 
and I'm going to mix it up with oil pastel and watercolour. You can use one or the other or like me do both. So I'm going to start with watercolour. Again, using the aqua brush, I think it helps the students keep the flow of the colour. And of course, if you use watercolour and it's dry, you can put extra lines over the top with the oil pastel, or you can work the other way around. Use the oil pastel and use that as a resist with the watercolour on top. So I'll try to do both ways while I'm drawing. So this is making an oil pastel shape inside my house. I'm making a door and then I will watercolour over it. And I'm going to put some extra lines in my onion roof in oil pastel, which will repel the watercolour. So I'll just brush in over that so you can see how the watercolour won't stick to the oil pastel. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to stop there and finish that later and you can see what's happening. So the mixture of oil pastel and the watercolour works really well. And one of the reasons why this works really well is I've done this lesson just oil pastel and the students took a long time to draw between the lines by the time they did the rough copy, the real copy, and it went for a little bit too long. Mixing the oil pastel and the watercolour also gives you a option for more colours, and it also gives you a nice overlaying feeling as well. So there you have it. You'll have your shapes, your contour lines, your bright colours, your own Hunter Vasa world, and all you have to do is display. Now to display these, I do it quite plainly because the picture's so bright and colourful, I don't feel like it needs any more colour. 
but you can always have more colour. So you can put it on coloured cover paper or black cover paper and hang up and you will get that wow effect because the shape and the line and the colours and you'll have a beautiful display.